next with Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd. Temperatures dropping quickly across the area. Already starting to see radar returns, although no precip is actually reaching the ground in the Arklamas just yet. Winter storm warning now in effect for most of the Arklamas. Only exceptions, Concordia Parish. They're under a winter weather advisory as we expect another nasty, complex mix of wintry precipitation to unfold across the area tomorrow. Snow farther northward, freezing rain and sleet farther southward. Lows tonight near 20. Daytime highs tomorrow right at the freezing mark. That's your forecast first. Fox 4 14 News at 9 starts right now. From Fox 14, the right news at the right time. Voted best newscast by the Louisiana Association of Broadcasters. This is Fox 14 News at 9. Hello and thank you for choosing Fox 14, your weather station. I'm Bodie Brooks in for Kyla Scott. First on Fox, the death toll is growing tonight from the extreme wintry weather that is being felt nationwide. A second Louisiana resident has died due to the freezing conditions. Authorities confirm a 74-year-old Lafayette woman was found dead in a driveway. It appears she left her residence and wandered around the neighborhood, possibly suffering from dementia. She arrived at a neighbor's residence and died due to the extreme weather conditions. This coming after a 50-year-old Lafayette man died after slipping on ice and hitting his head on the ground on Monday. In all, at least 16 people have died nationwide due to the storm, and now Entergy has started, started rolling power outages across the southern part of the state and in parts of southern Arkansas. The company says this is a last resort in order to prevent a more extensive prolonged power outage that could severely affect the reliability of the power grid. Entergy also asking customers in northeast Louisiana to limit their power. This morning, Energy customers began receiving this text message. We request limited electricity usage due to present extreme cold weather immediately, including turning off electric water heaters and lowering heating thermostat settings. Insufficient reductions may require temporary interruptions of electric service. We apologize for this inconvenience and are working to restore our system to normal grid operations as soon as possible. Earlier this evening, we spoke with Entergy. They say they were able to return power rather quickly to those who lost it. With freezing ice in the forecast tomorrow, they say they are not expecting rolling blackouts here, but confirm there will be more outages than what the winter weather has brought so far. But the kind of weather that's coming in on Wednesday and Thursday has a real high potential to accumulate ice on anything that's in the air, whether that's vegetation and trees, structures, and even overhead power equipment. So right now we are in the stage of planning all of our resources. We're staging where we can so that we'll be able to respond in the event if we start to see widespread power outages from the ice accumulation. Despite no official word by Entergy on rolling outages in northeast Louisiana, at least 3,000 customers are without power in Washita Parish. This image you're looking at captured about an hour ago. We learned some customers were without power in Swartz, the southwest area in West Monroe, and parts of Bastrop there in the upper right part of your screen. Many of these customers have had power restored, but since we've seen other outages in different parts of this map, be prepared for the possibility of losing power tonight and have your electronic devices fully charged. Entergy officials in Arkansas confirming rolling blackouts have begun there tonight, saying to prepare for 30-minute outages. Claiborne Electric, which serves much of north-central Louisiana, taking two substations offline tonight. Entergy says more than 113,000 customers are without power statewide in Louisiana. Most outages were reported in East and West Baton Rouge, as well as Livingston Parishes. Despite some of the mix of snow and sleet, melting areas like Richland Parish remain in freezing temperatures. Fox 14's Kyla Scott begins our team coverage with the latest conditions in Rayville. That's right, guys. The sun has set. The refreeze has begun here in Rayville, Louisiana. Earlier today, we did get a little help from the sunshine. Take a look at this video. The ice, snow, sleet that was on the rooftops of homes started melting away today and landing on the ground. A lot of the grass in the area peeking through some of that sleet and snow that had covered it for a few days. But now we are expecting more winter precipitation overnight into the morning and that could make conditions worsen, especially with the ice that has melted, refreezing tonight and getting more precipitation, wintry precipitation on top of it. Uh, again, 
If you do not have to go outside, if you do not have to drive, do not drive. Stay home, stay warm, stay safe. We keep repeating that. Louisiana State Police have worked quite a few crashes in our area across the state. So if you do not have to drive and be out in this winter event, stay home, be safe. We will continue to bring you and provide you with updates. So continue to watch us, your weather station. I'll send it back to you in the studio reporting in Ravel. I'm Kyla Scott. All right, Kyla, thank you. And as we head into the overnight hours, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd. As we look ahead to tomorrow, a lot of folks are concerned, you know, wondering when exactly this thing will get here and how long it will stay around. And that's a big question at this point. Let's take a look at the future tracker real quick. And this is kind of a, a jumbled up uh, piece of information. We're already starting to get light returns across southern Arkansas. The yellow temperatures you see right there are temperatures aloft. Note that they're above freezing as we go through the morning hours tomorrow and the precip starts to move into our area. Temperatures at the surface, the numbers you see in white are well below freezing. So as we continue to work through the day, those temperatures continue to climb. That starts changing a lot of our precipitation over to freezing rain and sleet. That's something that will continue through much of the overnight hours, uh, excuse me, through the daytime hours tomorrow and into early Thursday. And Jared, let's also talk about some of the precipitation that we're going to be seeing. You know, a lot of folks the first time around, they may have gotten snow, but now some folks are wondering why they may not get snow this second round. So let's take a look at that. And and explain the different types of precipitation. You look at right uh, what you're seeing right there on the screen, and pretty much everything this time of year starts as snow. But there is usually warm air aloft, especially in the southern United States. If that warm air layer is thick enough, then basically you don't have enough time for your rain that has melted into, uh, or your snow that's melted into rain, to refreeze as snow. Uh, if it, that shallow layer is thin enough, then yeah, we can see the rain refreeze as sleep pellets before it hits the ground. But most of the time, and this is what we're expecting tomorrow, that warm air layer is pretty thick. A lot of that uh, will just hit the surface and freeze to whatever it globs on top, uh, onto. More in just a few minutes in the full forecast. Bodie. Jared, thank you. New at 9, the Louisiana State Police are out working to keep you safe and responding to calls about accidents on the IT roadways as the conditions worsen. Fox 14's Hunter Elise spoke to State Trooper Michael Reichardt to find out more about what LSP is doing as they continue to work through the weather and monitor the highways in North Louisiana. Just because the weather is blocking major roads and highways doesn't mean Louisiana State Police Troop F is getting a day off. Tuesday, they responded to 50 or 60 car crashes, working hard to keep the community safe. We're still double shifts, so we have a lot of troopers out there. Uh, they worked a tremendous amount of crashes today and cars that slid off into the median, off into the ditch. So uh, our guys were busy, busy today. Now they're making a statement to drivers who may see them working on the roads. The biggest thing is when you see our guys or a wrecker on the shoulder or an ambulance or a fire truck to scoot over into the other lane or slow down, you should be driving slow in this anyway, um, but slow down even more than that, uh, than normal, because our guys are out there. We've had two state trooper cars hit um, since Sunday. Since the roads are slick with a car or truck, it may seem fun to use an ATV to get around. But Trooper Reichardt says that may not be the best idea. It's, it's not only dangerous, but it's against the law to drive those side-by-sides and ATVs on the highway. So um, just remember that. You know, it sounds like fun, and I'm sure it is a lot of fun, but... It, you know, fun can be dangerous sometimes. Trooper Reichardt says they're going to continue to monitor weather conditions in the area to provide the best service they can to the community throughout North Louisiana. Reporting in West Monroe for your weather station, I'm Hunter Elise. Hunter, thank you. And you can stay informed about the forecast with our KTV KARD weather app. Download it now. You can set locations to make sure you are warned about dangerous weather that's headed your way. Let's pause for a moment to take a look at tonight's gas card winner, Lester Wood of Calhoun. You're tonight's winner of our Jim Taylor dealership's $50 gas card. Ain't got many places to go, though. That's only if you call before our newscast ends. The number is 318-807-0900. If you want to win some gasoline, register at one of the Jim Taylor dealerships or online at MyRacleMist.com and watch for your name every weeknight here on Fox 14 News at 9. Still ahead on your weather station, we'll continue to take a close look at the deteriorating road conditions, Arkansas community's plan of response, and what the DOTD is advising tonight. Cottonport Antique Mall, an antique store for everyone. The NBC10 mobile news app for Apple and Android, brought to you by Vantage Health Plan.
Fox 14 News is covering the stories that matter to you every day. We showed you how Louisianans got creative to celebrate Mardi Gras safely without parades by decorating their houses. And we highlighted a brand new sober living house coming to Oak Grove to give addicts a safe place to go and help them recover and get back on their feet. See these stories and more at MyArkLimits.com and on the Fox 14 News mobile app, available for iPhone and Android. Drive Explorer with zero for 72 plus 3750 cash back. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. As the seasons change, you may notice your windows are not as efficient as you thought. Look to Achievers Home Improvements. Our windows are the most efficient on the market with the best in class energy performance. Our team of experts will have the tools and the skill to take on any task so that we can achieve your goals together. Achievers Home Improvements. We do it all. Get okay, ready? <laughs> hey, folks, Skeet's Gerbils bring that tax refunds to Schmitty's and tell them Skeet has sent you. Refunds. We got great deals and great service that'll blow your mind. Has that income tax refund got you thinking car, truck, or SUV? Well, don't let the circus clowns take advantage of you. Shop us at usedcargiants.com where you can view our inventory, apply for an auto loan, and if you need help with your taxes, we can do that too. No money down, 100% financing. Schmitty's Used Car Emporium. We'll take care of you. You'll love these savings and selection at Sparks Nissan Kia in Monroe. For February only, get $199 down, $199 a month on these quality rides and more. Or ride home in one of these for just $299 down, $299 a month. All pre-owned inventory, hand-picked, and Sparks certified for quality and reliability. You'll be heartbroken if you miss these deals, so shop online at drivesparks.com. And remember, hot deals start with Sparks. Tower Cam, sponsored by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys. News, sponsored by Sparks Nissan Kia. Fox 14 News at 9 continues. Setting away from our weather coverage for just a moment, a homicide suspect is behind bars tonight at OCC. Najahan Arik Jones is accused of murder. Jones was arrested on Monday by the Washtenaw Parish Sheriff's Office on a negligent homicide charge. No further details have been released regarding this incident. We'll update you on the latest as soon as we get it. Well, road and highway conditions are also a concern tonight for residents and officials in Arkansas. Fox 14's Gabrielle Pfeiffer spoke with the Public Works Director in Camden. He says he's working to add snow equipment to his budget next year. You can handle mud, grass, everything else, but snow is a different animal. These are roads in Crossed, but this is a similar situation to what's being seen across Camden and other rural areas. And right now we are crippled due to Mother Nature, and all we'll do is wait on her. Arkansas highways are seeing some clearing by the Arkansas Department of Transportation. Got one going behind me, actually. <laughs> there you go. What timing? But city streets are still seeing a pile of the accumulation from the winter precipitation. We had invested in machinery to keep the streets clean from snow. Because weather like this doesn't happen all the time. Usually when we get a little bit of snow, it's gone the next day. Uh, this snow is going to be here all week. But it's not just Camden that's in a bind. Other areas like El Dorado are having the same problem. But Franklin is hoping these troubles won't last forever. We will definitely have a part uh, of our budget uh, going towards winter weather for next year. And it may not come next year, but we will be prepared the next time for this. Until then, Franklin, like every other person around the state, is urging you to stay home if possible. He says not everyone is equipped for the road conditions, not even those who are experienced. We can't take it for granted that we're going to make it back home when we leave and these... Uh, Conditions. Reporting in South Arkansas, I'm Gabrielle Pfeiffer. Now, trash pickup is not running right now. Franklin says they will make an announcement on the Public Works Facebook page on when that is expected to continue. 
The Louisiana Department of Transportation is issuing a warning tonight as they are seeing drivers performing dangerous stunts such as donuts. This is a video we took of a car doing a donut last night. You can see this vehicle driving in a circle, kicking up tons of snow into the air. And while it may seem fun to do, the DOTD says this could be dangerous. The DOTD says right now they are at a standstill after they did what they could to prepare the highways and interstates with salt and sand Saturday and Sunday prior to the storm on Monday, but as they prepare for the next storm tomorrow, Fox 14's Hunter Release says it's not looking like highways will be open until Friday. When conditions deteriorated, especially late Sunday into Monday, um, we got to a point where it was no longer smart, feasible, a strategic use of the resources to continue to have crews out. The public information officer for Louisiana DOTD, Aaron Buchanan, says once the temperatures and accumulation reach a limit, the salt and other resources no longer become effective for the roads. Now they're trying to ration the resources they do have before the storm Wednesday. We need to make sure that we are in a position to where once we get on the other side of that and conditions improve to the point where we can, that can uh, resume salt dispensing operations, that we've got plenty on hand for that. As of Tuesday afternoon, DOTD has crews on standby to clear roads, only responding to major calls like a fallen tree or extreme circumstances. I asked Buchanan about the possibility of using a snowplow or something similar to that to help the roads, but she says it's not really, um, you know, an investment that is economically feasible for us because we could go another 10 years and not see, you know, another snow or ice event. And when it comes to clearing major interstate roads and highways, Buchanan says they're using their resources as best as possible. But at this point, it's a waiting game until every road is open again. The priority routes, we like I-20 and that sort of thing, you know, we're continuing to see traffic on it. And of course, 100% of traffic off of it is not, you know, realistic. Of course, we're going to have 18 wheelers still moving goods and services. We'll have essential workers that have to get where they have to get. So having some traffic on that, you know, will help. That was our Hunter Elise reporting. Well, Jared joins us now from the Weather Center. Jared, it's going to be a story we're going to be talking about weeks from now. This winter weather, we are not out of the woods yet. The next round headed our way in hours. Yeah, in, in uh, mere hours. In, in many spots, it could start the next two or three hours, especially across southern Arkansas. It's going to be a messy forecast, and it's a complex one, too. We'll break it down as best as possible next on Fox. My name is Gordon Semino. I make my living driving trucks. 10-4. But if I was injured by a big truck, Gordon McKernan is who I would call. You know, Gordon McKernan, the lawyer on the big truck. You see him all over Louisiana on the billboards and TV. No trucker wants to mess with him, because word is, if we cause a wreck, he's not afraid to take on the big insurance companies, and he'll fight to make them pay. Get Gordon. Get it done. You heard Gordon. Just call me. Get it done. Call 888-8888. See why more people are buying at Ryan. Don't let hunger get the best of you. Let La Katrina Mexican Taqueria take care of you. Authentic Mexican street food made from scratch. Berea tacos and Berea ramen. Burritos, sopas, gorditas, tamales, lodes, homemade chips and tortillas, and so much more. You don't have to wait till Taco Tuesday to get these awesome street tacos. La Katrina Mexican Taqueria on the corner of Louisville Avenue and 6th Street in Monroe. Or basic drive in West Monroe. The service here has been exceptional. It's nice to walk in a dealership where you can see smiling faces, people that speak to you, and you feel welcome, and they're not trying to pressure or sell you another car. I live in West Monroe. I could get my oil changed and everything in West Monroe, but the reason I come back is for the way I've been treated and their professional service and their courtesy. They're truly a great family, and they make you feel like a part of their family. 
Severe weather is hitting our area. Turn to Fox 14 News for complete coverage of the effects it has on your neighborhood. Fox 14 Severe Weather Coverage is sponsored by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys. Why am I so calm right now? Because this isn't a spy thriller. This is a Nissan sales event ad. Right on cue. This Rogue has more standard safety technologies than that RAV4. It's almost too easy. Hurry in for a low 229 per month lease on the 2021 Rogue. Tick tock, time's running out. Your only privately owned wound ostomy clinic in Louisiana. Karen Stansbury brings 23 years of experience for wound and ostomy issues. Call today. News sponsored by Go Auto Insurance. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Oram Young. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather from the most experienced meteorologist in the Arklamis, Jared Floyd. A check of the live storm tracker off the radar this evening, and you're already starting to see those light radar returns picking back up. Again, a reminder that our radar is situated in West Monroe. So as you get into northern sections of Washtenaw County, Arkansas, into uh, Columbia County, we're probably hitting at about 9,000 feet. So a lot of this is falling to the sky through the sky, but the air has dried out quite a bit in the last uh, day, day and a half. So a lot of this isn't reaching the ground just yet. But as the uh, column of air moistens, then more precip will uh, start reaching the surface probably in the next several hours. We're actually up a degree in Monroe at 23. Don't expect that to be a trend. 24 in El Dorado, 19 in Camden, 18 in Monticello. As the clouds start to move back in, that's provided a little brief layer of insulation to kind of stop the cooling rate, at least for the time being. Expect that to resume over the next few hours. Road temperatures are already sub-freezing. Some of these spots saw road temperatures uh, rebound to near 40 or even the low 40s this afternoon and uh, already back below freezing. So anything left on the roadway has already frozen back into place. The uh, loop over the last uh, hour or so shows our next upper level disturbance, bringing widespread snowfall across Oklahoma and southward toward the Red River Valley and just north of the Dallas Fort Worth metro. And that's uh, the system that's headed our direction. I showed you this graphic earlier and I wanted to kind of drive this point home again. The temperatures in yellow that you're seeing are about 5,000 feet up in the atmosphere. The temperatures you're seeing in white are temperatures at the surface. And it is a kind of a confusing graphic, but I needed to drive the point home as to why we're going to see so many different types of precipitation through the day tomorrow. Note that temperatures along and south of the I-20 corridor at the surface, well below freezing. A few thousand feet up, well above freezing, 34, 34, 38. So that snow is falling through the atmosphere. It's hitting that layer, and temperatures are above freezing. It's melting, and it doesn't have enough time once it gets back into a, a layer below freezing to refreeze, and so it'll just fall as rain, and whatever it hits at the surface that's below freezing, it'll freeze onto freezing rain. In some of these areas, the, the, the layer of cold air, sub-freezing air right at the surface will be cold enough to refreeze this as sleet pellets, and then as you move farther northward, while temperatures may flirt with the freezing mark through the course of the day, it's not a thick enough layer of of temperatures above freezing to melt the, the snowflakes at all, or not enough to melt them out of the form of snowflakes. So you get big, wet, fat snowflakes across much of southern Arkansas. Note these temperatures aloft start climbing. Again, upper 30s and, and southeastern sections of the viewing area and just into the mid-30s along the I-20 corridor. I cannot stress this enough. This is not as cut and dry of a forecast as we were dealing with Sunday, Monday. Very complex. will be very fast moving through the day tomorrow, and we'll just kind of have to adapt with it. So going to Thursday, the upper level disturbance kicks out more light snowfall and sleet across the region. So types of precipitation. Let's break that down. Before that, winter storm warning. In effect, obviously area wide with the exception of Concordia Parish under a winter weather advisory. Uh, the types of precipitation we're expecting, mainly snow across south Arkansas. Some of the snow could be heavy at times. Some sleet can mix in uh, here and there. Snow initially across the I-20 corridor to the state line, the area in blue, but most of it will be freezing rain and sleet. Farther southward, freezing rain with some rain mixing in at times as temperatures climb above freezing off and on through the afternoon tomorrow. Possible accumulations up to a half inch in the southern parishes, which will be disruptive, could cause power outages, could down some tree limbs and some power lines. Locally, up to an inch of ice possible along the I-20 corridor into the state line. This is the area in blue. Up to an inch of ice would be um, a big problem, a significant problem across the region. And snow and sleet up to two inches. These areas, two to five inches of snow 
snow, and some of the far northern reaches of the Arklamets could see isolated amounts of 7 inches or higher, where we see the heaviest snowfall rates tomorrow. Overnight lows near 20, well below freezing. Daytime highs tomorrow right at the freezing mark. Again, it will be a very close call on types of precipitation tomorrow. The lingering mix early Thursday, and then we finally start warming up. Morning lows will stay below freezing for a while, but daytime highs eventually climbing into the 50s or maybe even the low to mid 60s by the first part of next week. The last the note that I want to leave for Arklamis residents. Prepare for power outages. Uh, we've already seen a few sporadic power outages tonight, but uh, as far as weather driven power outages, those appear likely at least in some areas tomorrow. So make sure that you're uh, conserving warmth in your home and make sure that you're staying warm safely. Bodie? Absolutely. That's an entirely different beast. Thank you, Jared. Still ahead, the delivery service meeting a need at a crucial time. You're watching your weather station, Fox 14. The NBC10 mobile news app for Apple and Android. Brought to you by Vantage Health Plan. One day is not enough. Interstate's President's Day event is all month long. Dodge Chargers $22,990. A Chrysler $322,990. And every Dodge journey is now $17,990. Save big at Interstate West Monroe. Hey, everybody, have some fun. The time is right, the party's just begun. Drive Explorer with zero for 72 plus 37.50 cash back. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. Little India Restaurant and Bar is the place to enjoy authentic Indian cuisine in Monroe. Come in and enjoy our affordable lunch buffet with a variety of delicious options to choose from. In the evening, experience our relaxing atmosphere or book our private lounge as you order off our menu with carefully crafted vegetarian, South Indian, North Indian, or Indo-Chinese dishes, plus much more. We also have authentic Indian beer or other delicious beverages. Little India Restaurant and Bar. Bigger and better flavors, food, and fun. You'll love these savings and selection at Sparks Nissan Kia in Monroe. For February only, get $199 down, $199 a month on these quality rides and more. Or ride home in one of these for just $299 down, $299 a month. All pre-owned inventory, hand-picked, and Sparks certified for quality and reliability. You'll be heartbroken if you miss these deals, so shop online at drivesparks.com. And remember, hot deals start with Sparks. Truck fires. It's Ram Truck Month now at Interstate West Moreau. Ram regular cab, 8,000 off. A 1,500 quad cab, 9,000 off. A 1,500 crew cab, big horn, 10,000 off. Buy now at Interstate Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in West Moreau. Fox 14 News at 9 continues. Well, many people have not been driving on the roads this week due to the weather conditions, but one woman is bringing their needs right to their front door. Fox 14's Gabrielle Pfeiffer followed this woman behind the wheel who is working to bring something new to cross it. So a woman on a mission. Okay. Some hamburgers. Who wants to be of service? Not far. To her community. I knew that this was a needed service. I didn't realize how bad. Dana Peterson is the owner of D's Deliveries in Crossed, a new service that's been available for about a month now. But word is just hitting the streets of what all she's doing, especially during all of this winter weather. It's convenient for people to not have to get out. Food deliveries, grocery pickup, and transporting people to and from work has now become Patterson's way of life, earning a reputation around town. My vehicle is iffy and Dana comes through whenever you call her. Peterson says she's trying to sign up with popular services like DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub, but... Because I have felonies that weren't able to approve me, so I just decided to start my own thing. A venture that the community is happy about as it's a pretty rare service. It's actually great. Rain, sleet, or snow. It's good to, you know, be able to be there for somebody, especially whenever, you know, I took so much from this community before I got sober, so it's, it's nice to be able to give back. 
Reporting in Crossed, I'm Gabrielle Pfeiffer. Deliveries cost $5 for those who live in Crossed and $10 for anyone in Hamburg. We'll have the owner's contact information on our website, myarchalmist.com. Coming up on your weather station, we'll check back in on the power grid situation in our area, the number of people facing outages tonight, and the likelihood of rolling blackouts. At Franklin Medical Center, Dr. David Gutierrez provides his patients with the most advanced surgical techniques in the region, bringing advanced laparoscopic surgery to our community for you and your family. That means less pain and a much quicker recovery with expertise in all aspects of general surgery, from acid reflux relief to esophageal and intestinal repair. Dr. Gutierrez and the FMC team are here for you. Talk to your primary care provider or contact his office for an appointment. Franklin Medical Center, community-focused quality health care. A new year is approaching. Gone are the days of going into large cluttered furniture stores, sitting on the same sofa or bedroom set that hundreds and hundreds of others have sat on, rummaging through catalogs for outdated and overpriced items, and waiting sometimes months and months for your new furniture to be delivered to your home. But let me introduce you to an all new way to purchase furniture with Parish Home Furnishings. Sit back and relax with a glass of wine or other beverage of your choice and let your personal furniture concierge walk you through that process of ordering from our massive collection of quality and affordable furniture. We offer same-day delivery and 0% financing to those who qualify. Parish Home Furnishings takes the hassle out of shopping for furniture. We offer online store prices with the in-store product guarantee and our one-of-a-kind personal furniture concierge services. Stop in today or visit our website, parishhf.com. That's parishhf.com. Fall in love with the February issue of Buy You Life magazine. This month, we have all the hard eyes for our Cupid content. From our Art of a Simple Valentine's Day, where we share tips on how to make this V-Day special, to our Red Hot Fashion from local boutiques. And love isn't all that sweet this month. We check out Bake 318, a local bakery. Plus, our monthly columns like our book reviews, outdoor stories, and health and wellness tips. Find all this and more in this month's issue of Buy You Life magazine. Available at local retailers and online, buyyoulifemag.com. Cottonport Antique Mall, an antique store for everyone. And now, your cold Sam forecast first with Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd. Storm warnings are in effect across the entire Arklamas. The only exception, Concordia Parish, but uh, you guys didn't luck out completely. You're under a winter weather advisory. Another significant winter weather episode expected to unfold across the area overnight through the day Wednesday, perhaps into early Thursday. As overnight lows drop to near 20 degrees tonight, make sure you're staying warm safely. The mix moves in tomorrow early in the day. Snow north, freezing rain and sleet farther southward with highs right at the freezing mark. That's your forecast first for this half hour. Fox 14. News at 9 continues. Fox 14 News at 9 continues. Thank you for choosing Fox 14, your weather station. I'm Bodie Brooks and for Kyla Scott. The death toll is growing tonight from the extreme wintry weather that is being felt nationwide. A second Louisiana resident has died due to the freezing conditions. Authorities confirm a 74-year-old Lafayette woman was found dead in a driveway. It appears she left her residence and wandered around the neighborhood, possibly suffering from dementia. She arrived at a neighbor's residence and died due to the extreme weather conditions. This coming after a 50-year-old Lafayette man died after slipping on ice and hitting his head on the ground on Monday. In all, at least 16 people have died nationwide due to the storm, and now Energy has started rolling power outages across southwest Louisiana. The company saying this is a last resort in order to prevent a more extensive prolonged power outage that could severely affect the reliability of the power grid. As a large portion of southern Louisiana faces power outages during this wintry weather, Entergy is asking residents in northeast Louisiana to limit their usage. This morning, Entergy customers began receiving this text message. We request limited electricity usage due to present extreme cold weather immediately, including turning off electric water heaters and lowering heating thermostat settings. Insufficient reductions may require temporary interruptions of electric service we apologize for this inconvenience and are working to restore our system to normal grid operations as soon as possible. Earlier this evening, we spoke with Energy, and they say they were able to return power rather quickly to those who lost it. With freezing ice in the forecast tomorrow, though, they say they are not expecting rolling blackouts here, but there will be more outages than what the winter weather has brought so far. But the kind of weather that's coming in on Wednesday and Thursday has the real high potential to accumulate ice 
on anything that's in the air, whether that's vegetation and trees, structures, and even overhead power equipment. So right now we are in the stage of planning all of our resources. We're staging where we can so that we'll be able to respond in the event if we start to see widespread power outages from the ice accumulation. Now, despite no official word on rolling outages in northeast Louisiana, this is the outage map that we are seeing tonight. It's, it's, here's a live look at the outage map. It has changed a bit from the previous half hour. Outages have been sporadic in multiple locations throughout the evening. Right now, it appears southeast Bastrop, uh, parts of Morehouse, Parish, southern Washita, and the Richwood area, they are without power currently. Be prepared for the possibility of losing power tonight in your area, and be sure to have your electronic devices fully charged. Entergy officials in Arkansas confirming rolling blackouts have begun there tonight, saying to prepare for 30-minute outages. And Claiborne Electric, which serves much of north-central Louisiana, taking two substations offline tonight. Entergy says more than 113,000 customers are without power statewide in Louisiana. That was as of about 8 o'clock this evening. Most outages were reported in east and west Baton Rouge, as well as Livingston parishes. Well, most of you are stuck inside as icy roadways prevent you and your family from driving in cities and parishes across North Louisiana. Fox 14's Maya Hudgens spoke with officials about what they plan to do. Maya, what'd you find out? Monroe, West Monroe, and Washita Parish officials are saying we don't have the proper equipment to clear the roads as these road conditions are something we've never experienced before. And just because the sun's been out today, the roads won't be clear of ice and snow. Don't let the sun deceive you. The roads are still very, very treacherous. They're very icy. The sun is all it's doing is melting that top layer of snow. As the road conditions continue to deteriorate, the city of West Monroe is working to help de-ice bridges, but residents still need to be careful. On bridges, we, uh, Public Works has put out salt on some of the city bridges that we have. The roads, we're just encouraging everyone to stay off. I mean, four-wheel drive vehicles are definitely the preferred uh, vehicle to be on the roads. The city of Monroe says Monroe PD has responded to at least 20 cars that have slid off the road since Monday night. And as of right now, laying sand on the road is not an option. We're at a point right now where it's just not, it's not feasible. Like we can, we can, we were putting urea, which is a, a sort of de-icing agent, uh, down at the airport. Uh, but it became a point where it just it wasn't doing what we needed it to do. Uh, the the effort to get it out there wasn't meet, uh, matching the demand. Besides first responders being able to help, Monroe officials say they're at a standstill. Once it begins, we're going to be waiting for Mother Nature to finish. Um, and so we're really at the mercy of Mother Nature right now. Uh, if we were a city like New York City or Philadelphia or Chicago, Detroit, like we would have the infrastructure necessary, but we are not built to handle winter situations like this, precipitation like this. And the Washita Parish Police Jury says they're having the same problem. You know, it, it's too much ice and snow for us to even start to, to uh, try to ice or use sand on the roads. Um, if we put it on now, it's not going to do any good. I know some people have asked why we don't have a snow plow. We don't have a weather event like this, but every 30 or 40 years. And uh, so it's just not beneficial for us, you know. Officials say the best thing you can do is just stay at home. You know, when people are out driving on roads that they don't need to be on, they're really uh, putting a strain on our on our first responders and our law enforcement uh, officers and, uh, and public works. Now, I also talked with multiple mayors across North Louisiana on how they're dealing with these horrible road conditions. In Oak Grove, Mayor Adam Holland says they are laying salt at businesses that are open and relying on DOTD to treat the state roads, also asking people to keep pipes running and to stay off the roads. In Bastrop, Mayor Henry Cotton says they don't have enough sand and salt to treat all the roads. Transportation is available for first responders and hospital workers, and a shelter is open at the Dotson Park Gym. In Shudrant, Mayor Bill Sanderson says they are also relying on DOTD to treat the roads. A critical area is at the intersection of high Highway 80 and 145. And finally, he's encouraging people to stay at home. In Grambling, Mayor Edward Jones says they are sanding city roads and DOTD is salting state roads and bridges. Fire, police, and public works are out monitoring the city. In Ruston, Mayor Ronnie Walker says they are not salting the streets as it is not making a difference, but they will have a 
essential workers and first responders on standby. In Sterlington, Mayor Cesar Velasquez says they are relying on DOTD and have sewer and utility crews out making sure everything is running properly. Like these mayors have said, it's best to stay home as the bad weather will continue. Reporting for your weather station, I'm Maya Hudgens. All right, let's bring back in Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd as we look ahead to tomorrow. It's going to be an absolutely messy day. When should we start expecting it to move in? In the next few hours in the western counties and parishes, so wherever you are right now, you may be stuck there tomorrow, maybe the next day as well. Full look at the forecast next on Fox. Fox 14 News is covering the stories that matter to you every day. We showed you how Louisianans got creative to celebrate Mardi Gras safely without parades by decorating their houses. And we highlighted a brand new sober living house coming to Oak Grove to give addicts a safe place to go and help them recover and get back on their feet. See these stories and more at MyArchlemist.com and on the Fox 14 News mobile app, available for iPhone and Android. See why more people are buying at Ryan. Stay sharp downrange with a Ruger AR556 rifle with free float handguard, now $849.99. Get real protection with the Retay Tactical Home Defender 12 gauge shotgun, only $399.99. Step into the fun zone with a Smith & Wesson MP Sport 2 AR15, just $799.99. on sales of an ad. Right on cue. This Rogue has more standard safety technologies than that RAV4. It's almost too easy. Hurry in for a low 229 per month lease on the 2021 Rogue. Tick tock, time's running out. <laughs> this is my house now. Oh. That's much. Stomp out the flu, COVID-19, and 50-plus other viruses with U.S. Decon, Inc., your local decontamination experts. Severe weather is hitting our area. Turn to Fox 14 News for complete coverage of the effects it has on your neighborhood. Fox 14 Severe Weather Coverage is sponsored by Creed & Creed, your local injury attorneys. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather from the most experienced meteorologist in the Arklamis, Jared Floyd. Light snowfall already being reported in eastern sections of Texas as the next disturbance moves in. A live storm tracker Doppler radar not showing a whole lot in our immediate area in the far northwestern counties and parishes of the Arklamis. You're starting to see returns, but nothing reaching the ground just yet, or at least surface observations are not indicating that at this time. We're at 19 in Camden, 18 Monticello, 24 in El Dorado, 23 Ruston Monroe, 28 in Natchitoches. Everyone well below freezing. Anything that falls tonight and through the early part of the day tomorrow will freeze. As we go into the afternoon hours tomorrow, things get a little fuzzy. Uh, a look at the upper level disturbance that's driving the snowfall across mainly Oklahoma now. But if you have neighbors and friends and family in central Arkansas, Tell them to get ready because they are expecting uh, a lot of snowfall on top of a uh, good 8 to 10 inches that a lot of those areas saw uh, about two days ago. So we, many of these areas could see a snowpack of a foot tall or maybe even more than that uh, before this is all said and done. But for us, uh, it's going to be a much
much more complex forecast. The precip starts tomorrow morning. Uh, really, in our far western counties and parishes, could start as early as around midnight or thereafter, or shortly thereafter. And as we work through the day, could see a start of mainly snow. But as we work deeper into the late morning and early afternoon hours, warm air starts to kind of make its way in. Also, wouldn't be surprised in the areas you see in pink, which will be obviously the mix of freezing rain and sleet. Wouldn't be surprised to hear a few rumbles of thunder from time to time through the course of the day. Continue to pull warm air in through mid afternoon, and a lot of this I wouldn't be surprised to see change over to rain in the southern parishes. But as we go deeper into the night, we wrap in some cooler air behind the surface low. The upper level disturbance still has to kick through, and that'll scour out whatever moisture is available. We could still run into some light sleet and snowfall at times through the early morning hours on Thursday. Do I expect that to add a lot of accumulations to what we've already seen at that point? Not really, but uh, it is something that should be noted. The National Weather Service in Jackson has now upgraded Concordia Parish to a winter storm warning. So the one parish that we had in the Arklamas that wasn't under this severe uh, this uh, winter storm warning. Is now under it as well. The entire Arklamas, for the second time in about three days, is under a winter storm warning. The entire area. Uh, that means accumulations will be impactful as we go through the day tomorrow. In terms of types of precipitation, mainly snowfall across the areas you see in white, the blue areas, snow at the onset, then changing to freezing rain and sleet, and then perhaps changing back to snow as things wrap up on Thursday. Freezing rain with some rain mixing in in our southern parishes, but again, the computer models have started trending more toward ice and less toward rain, at least here in the last, uh, I would say, two or three model cycles. Ice up to a half inch in the southern parishes, this areas you see in pink. As you go to the blue area along the I-20 corridor to the state line, ice could reach in isolated areas up to one inch. That would cause widespread power outages if that were to verify. Uh, an inch of ice will take down power lines, it'll take down tree limbs, it'll take down some trees, especially in trees that aren't particularly healthy. Hopefully that won't be a big problem considering we had a lot of tropical systems that kind of did the dirty work for us in that regard over the last couple of months. At least fingers crossed that they helped us out in that regard. Uh, as we go into southern Arkansas, two to five inches of snow, some isolated amounts of seven, eight, maybe even nine inches possible, but that's more likely as you move farther northward. Lows tonight near 20. High temperatures tomorrow, it, 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 ugh, it, it's a tough call. We're going to say right at the freezing mark. Could see the mid-30s in southern parishes, but I wouldn't get overly excited about getting above 30 in areas in south Arkansas. The mix continues early in the day on Thursday, and then we start the big thaw. That takes some time. We'll see upper 30s for highs Friday, upper 40s Saturday, and then we start trending to, and I can't believe I'm saying this, above normal for this time of year by the first of next week. We'll go from morning lows in the teens and single digits digits like we saw this morning uh, to 60s and 40s by next Tuesday. What a difference a week can make in the Arklamas. More news right after the break. Stay warm, stay safe. You're watching Fox 14. Hey everybody, have some fun. The time is right, the party's just begun. And the good times roll. Yeah, the good times roll. And have some fun and let those good times roll. Drive Explorer with zero for 72 plus 3750 cash back. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. I'm Derek Kennedy with the Kennedy Insurance Agency. Were you caught off guard by either a 2% or 5% hurricane deductible? If so, give my office a call. We have an award-winning agency, $1,000 fixed deductible, replacement cost on roofs. You can call myself, Landon, or Taylor, 407 Hudson Lane, 323 Seven seven five five. You'll be glad you did. Still a traffic jam. Just better views. Still your to-do list. Just getting more done. Still packing up. Just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. Get 0% financing for 72 months on all 2021 Silverado Crew Cab pickups when you finance with GM Financial. And eligible GM card members can use an additional $1,000 in bonus earnings toward their purchase. See your super Chevy dealer today. 
Little India Restaurant and Bar is the place to enjoy authentic Indian cuisine in Monroe. Come in and enjoy our affordable lunch buffet with a variety of delicious options to choose from. In the evening, experience our relaxing atmosphere or book our private lounge as you order off our menu with carefully crafted vegetarian, South Indian, North Indian, or Indo-Chinese dishes, plus much more. We also have authentic Indian beer or other delicious beverages. Little India Restaurant and Bar. Bigger and better flavors, food, and fun. Living in the world today is like a sci-fi movie, with more and more people being infected with COVID-19 daily. Regardless of politics or beliefs, COVID-19 is a real threat. Johnson Advanced Cleaning is here to eliminate the threat. Take advantage of our triple disinfecting and ULV fogging. Our ULV fogging kills 99.9% .9 of germs, including COVID-19. We guarantee your satisfaction or your money back. It doesn't have to be a dark winter in the Arklamas. Johnson Advanced Cleaning. Call or visit us online today for your free estimate. Westgate Used Parts and Cars has the wheels, and they're ready to deal. Westgate has the lowest prices in the area. At Westgate, you can count on choosing from a large selection of vehicles, some starting as low as $1,500. Westgate also has warranties available, so just ask for that extra peace of mind for your ride. Westgate is conveniently located in West Monroe, where they've extended their hours throughout tax season to better serve you. The deals are going down every day at Westgate Used Parts and Cars. So visit the good folks today, and you can drive away your way. Louisiana Living, weekdays at 4.30 on Fox 14. Fox 14 News at 9 continues. The winter storm did not keep everyone inside their homes as some businesses opted to remain open. This owner spoke to Fox 14's Gabrielle Pfeiffer about why he chose not to shut down. Snacks, that's the one thing being grabbed from the shelves at Oakhurst Minute Shop in Crossed. While options were few for places to go, this store didn't hesitate to open its doors during the winter storm. It shows, like, you know, how much uh, uh, the ownership cares. The owner, Mike Chisholm, says the decision was an absolute no brainer for him. Customers have always been here for me, and I was, we try to be here for them. And the workers. Employees, Talbert Surratt beat me up here, and it was me, him, and Sue Jacobs. You know, they could have decided to stay at home today, but uh, yet they decided to come out, you know what I'm saying, to make sure they could continue to service the community, to service the people, make sure people got food to eat, make sure, you know what I'm saying, people uh, have, like, necessities. Courtney Harris didn't come to the minute shop for himself, rather, for friends that couldn't drive in the weather conditions. The store has been in this community now for for over 50 years, customers say it's always been a neighborhood favorite. Y'all live around here? It looks like around the corner. But with the snow on the streets, it makes people appreciate it even more. Yeah, yeah. Reporting in Cross It, I'm Gabrielle Pfeiffer. Still ahead, we have one last look at your seven day forecast on your weather station, Fox 14. Ready, set, go. larger-than-life SUVs from GMC. The GMC Acadia, Terrain, and all-new Yukon. Get over 4,200 purchase allowance on this 2021 Terrain Elevation Edition. That's an MSRP under 27,000. Plus, current eligible non-GM owners get an additional 1,000 purchase allowance. See your Monroe Eldorado area GMC dealer. <laughs> this is my house now. No. Oh. That's smart. Stomp out the flu, COVID-19, and 50-plus other viruses with U.S. Decon, Inc., your local decontamination experts. Get excited about driving again in the new 2021 Toyota RAV4. Get $1,000 customer cash, or qualified lessees can lease the adventurous new 2021 RAV4 LE for only $249 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Crossover into spring with special offers at Lee Edwards Mazda. Get ready for spring weather, open roads, and family trips in a new Mazda from Lee Edwards Mazda with a 21 Mazda CX-5 for 0.9 financing plus 500 cash. A 21 Mazda CX-9 for 0% financing plus 500 cash. Or a 21 Mazda CX-30 for 0.9 financing plus 750 cash. Cross over into spring and drive away in a new Mazda from Lee Edwards Mazda. Russell, Russell, Russell. 
Is the open road calling your name? Some guys were born truck drivers. Be trained and certified in just 16 days. Classes are available to get you on the path to your new career. CDL training, third-party testing, safety training, job placement, and financing available. See the world and get paid for doing it. Don't let life pass you by. Call Coastal right now. Exit 101 in Calhoun. Keeping the weight off just got real. Dr. Grain Rustin now has Sculpture, a non-invasive body contouring treatment. Lasers are used to end stubborn pockets of fat, helping you to keep your weight loss goals. Call Dr. Gray or book your appointment online today. Quick look at the seven-day forecast. Winter storm unfolding across the area as we go through the day tomorrow. Uh, the winter storm warning has been ex expanded to include Concordia Parish. The entire Arklamis under a winter storm warning again tomorrow. Significant ice accumulations in the southern half. Significant snow and ice accumulations in the northern half. That mix continues through early Thursday. We'll clear out, thaw out, dry out, but it'll take some time as we go into the weekend. Daytime highs near 60 on Sunday, low to mid 60s by the first of next week. Stay warm, stay safe as we go through the next 48 hours. All right, Jared, thank you. As we wrap up this newscast tonight, we are joined live on the phone with uh, Fox 14 assignment manager Chris Pinkston, who has lost his energy power tonight, finding out he is not alone. Chris, how are you doing? Hi, buddy. I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm uh, okay, just trying to stay warm. But how long have you been without power tonight? Um, well, uh, my, my power went out at approximately 7.15. Um, this is this is not confirmed by energy, but I've heard rumors of rolling blackouts and and a couple of my friends said that their power goes out for 30 to 40 minutes at a time. Mine's been out for over two hours. Yeah, so dealing with differing situations uh, across the Arklamas, uh, with your power being out for so long, it, it certainly is concerning. And, you know, with what we have been seeing tonight with outages being sporadic in multiple areas across the state, again, Energy has not confirmed rolling blackouts in northeast Louisiana. But from what we are seeing, there are folks losing power tonight, including you, Chris. Yeah, I've seen a, a few people lose power and then get it back, and, and I'm just wondering when I'm going to get mine back. Well, uh, we're hoping for the best for you. Uh, are you. Hopefully, you're able to stay warm, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I can uh, stay warm. I have uh, propane, propane heaters and blankets. Uh, we're, we're doing just fine. All right, Chris, stay warm, stay safe. We'll be in touch with you throughout the night. That is our newscast for tonight. Special weather coverage of the winter storm begins tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. on NBC10 and at 7 here on Fox 14. As always, you can stay informed around the clock on our website, myarchalmist.com. Be safe and have a good night.